Hi everyone, welcome back to WDoge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. And before we go to the exercise, let's talk about something that it will probably be very, very useful in your daily life. Let's create here another class. Uh, so we just right click. Actually, let me first fix this. Control Alt L, make the code formatted in a way that's uh, pretty. And then let's create here another class. So we probably have a shortcut for that. Let me see. Alt insert, and then you just press enter. Now, what is this class going to be about? It will be about comment. So you can just give the name uh, comment, and then you press enter. Now let's give just another example about variables. You know that we can use BSBM, and then we press tab, we are going to have our main method. The main method is the entry point for the JVM to start executing our program. And we already know how to declare variables. So let's declare two variables. One is the first name, string first name. And we can give anything here. And then we can say Luffy. And then we can give here string last name. monkey d okay so we have two variables and we know that we can use these variables to print something so let's just print here south press tab we have system out print ln if i want to print both of them you can either use concatenation but remember if you just do something like this what is going to happen you are going to have both first name and last name all together without any space. So control shift of 10. And you see here that we have no spaces. How can we give space? We just have to add something in between. So we just add here one extra space. Control Alt L for your code. And now we have space. Okay, but what are we going to talk about in this video? We are going to talk about comments. Comments, they are something that the, I think all the programming languages, especially the high level programming languages, they will allow you to do. It's something that you're going to write for yourself or for other developers. In your time as developer, you probably are going to be developing code that will be, let's say, read by other developers, by other people. So you have to be very careful when you are developing because sometimes you are developing something, you understand what you did, but it's so complex that nobody else can understand. And probably if you stay one or two weeks away from your code, you are not probably going to understand what you did as well. So there is a saying that uh, some developers, they do say, is like, when I developed this, only God and me knew how to work. And after two weeks, now only God knows about. So. Be careful when you are developing. Usually your code should be descriptive. People should understand what your code is doing just by going through the flow. But sometimes it's necessary to write something else. And this something else is comment. In Java, we have two ways. Actually, we have three ways, but I'm going to talk about two ways. The first one is inline comment. What is inline comment? It's something that you can write by adding two forward slashes. Everything that's on the right side of these flashes, it will be completely ignored when you are compiling. Basically, this is a message that you can write anything you want. So you can use characters and it will not impact the code. Sometimes you have to create variables or sometimes there is something that is related to a business logic, especially for example, if you are, for, if you are working in finance and you have to do something that is regarding laws and someone is reading your code, they do not understand why it was done that way. And you can leave a comment saying, okay, this is regarding their law X. And then people will understand. So sometimes it's not possible to have everything descriptive in your code and then a good message can uh, actually save several hours but one thing you should never do is write a message something like this you can write comments anywhere in your code so if you want to write comments 
before your class, you can. If you want to write comments in another language, you can also can. So comments can be anywhere in your code. Going back, there is something you should never do, is this. If you read this comment and if you read the name of the variable, you can understand that whatever we are putting inside this variable is the last name. So you don't write comments if you can understand what's being done. And this is what you should try to achieve. You should try to achieve a point in your code where people can understand what it is, what it's doing without having to explain. So if you have to explain, maybe you have to do something that we call refactor. Is basically you are writing your code again in a different way that will make it either easier, uh, easier to understand or faster. Okay, so this is a mess. So if we execute this, you will notice that we have here no, uh, it's not going to, didn't change anything. Now go to your out, and if you see only two, just right click, and you have here reload from disk. Now, if you open here, you're going to see that this was decompiled. And by decompiling, if you notice here, there are no comments. All the comments you wrote basically is just gone. So this is what the compiler do. It will remove your comments because for the JVM, it doesn't matter what you are writing there. This is just something that we do for humans. This comment that we have here, it was, it's something that the, the person, in this case, the firm flower uh, developer, is adding every time uh, with the compile. So if we come back here, you can see that in this one, we have several multi-lines comments. But actually, that is a better way. If you need to write this comment here, the advisable way would be to use the second pattern. So let's go back here. For example, if I want to write a multi-line comment, I should do something like this. First, the slash, then the star, and then you press enter. Can you see that IntelliJ is already giving you the star slash? And this is because everything that you are going to write in between is going to be ignored by the compiler. So if you need to write, if we come here to this comment, and we copy this and we come back to comment. This is actually how it should look like. It would look like a little bit better if we did this way. So you can even add more stars here, asterisks. In some places you are going to see kind of uh, they aligned like this. So there are several different ways you can do it. But in the end, the purpose of this is like a multi-line comment. So with this, if you have to explain something a little bit more complicated, you just write it here. If you want to just make a quick note, you should use this style. But remember, be careful because you are just making your code heavier. When you write a lot of comments, as you can see here, it, it's, it gets quite heavy when you are reading. So the good practice is try to avoid comments as much as possible. Try to explain for your code what your code is trying to do, what your code is trying to save. Okay, so now that we know about comments in the next video, we are going to create a class, we are going to write the exercise for comments in the beginning of the class, and then we are going to solve um, that exercise. So let's move on to the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.